It's time. Sussex's plan high-quality PR for star A-listers at Emmy Awards, Boycott Wave emerged. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry may make their Hollywood debut at the Emmys next month, it has been claimed. According to sources in Los Angeles, the Sussexes are in high demand to make their first red carpet appearance. While it is unclear if they will attend the A-list event, sources have claimed they are likely to receive an invite to the celebrations afterwards. Oprah Winfrey is set to attend the event and may even help the pair get an invitation to the star-studded event. The Netflix royal family drama The Crown and Disney's Star Wars spin-off The Mandalorian are tied for the most Emmy nominations with 24 nods each. The main ceremony is being held on September 19 with us actor and comedian Cedric the Entertainer serving as host. One source told, the Sussexes are in high demand, it would be their first red carpet appearance since Megxit and their full-time Californian move. Oprah is planning to attend the night, which could help get them there. Certainly, there would be a VIP invite for them from Netflix at its evening celebration event. Netflix knows that shots of them with big Hollywood names would be huge PR. The ceremony is being held on September 19 and will be hosted by American comedian Cedric the Entertainer. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah has been nominated for an award at the Emmys. The bombshell interview has been nominated in the Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special category. The interview saw the pair make a raft of bold allegations towards the royal family and how they had been treated within the institution. Meghan said during the interview in March she had been left isolated. She also claimed she had not been given any support in adjusting to life in the firm. Commenting on her wedding day, Meghan said, It was like having an out-of-body experience I was very present for. I think we were both really aware, even in advance of that, this wasn't our day, this was the day that was planned for the world. The Duchess also claimed her mental health had suffered as a result of the isolation and pressure within the firm. She said, I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. And I remember how Harry just cradled me. I remember this conversation like it was yesterday, because they said, my heart goes out to you because I see how bad it is, but there's nothing we can do to protect you because you're not a paid employee of the institution. This wasn't a choice. This was emails and begging for help, saying very specifically I am concerned for my mental welfare. But nothing was ever done, so we had to find a solution. Oprah is nominated for Outstanding Hosted Nonfiction Series or Special for her explosive interview with the Sussexes. Meghan's father, Thomas Markle Sr., a former lighting director, shared two daytime Emmy Awards for his work as a lighting director on the soap opera General Hospital. Meghan and Harry, who signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify, welcomed their second child, a baby girl named Lilibet Diana, in June. Their other projects include a children's book written by Meghan, an Apple TV program with Oprah and a book deal for Harry, who revealed he is writing a memoir that will be an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. It will cover his lifetime in the public eye, including his time in the military, marriage and fatherhood. Harry, who turns 37 next month, said the memoir, to be published by Penguin Random House, will be written not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become.